Cottonmouth. Whoa. 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 Oh. Whoa. Wow, this is a water moccasin, and he is a very decent sized one. Look at him. All right, guys, we're going to move him this way. This is a snake that I am not going to touch. This is a venomous snake, for sure. If I got bit by this, this would be the end of filming. We would be going to the hospital, for sure very dangerous snake that you definitely don't want to run into. One of the few, if not the only, subaquatic pit viper in the world, which is very, very cool. And they're piscivores, meaning that they eat fish and frogs mainly. Now, studies have shown that they will actually eat other snakes, and they will eat pretty much anything that they come across, including dead fish. They're one of the very few species of snakes that will actually eat something that's already dead. Look at that. Look at the fangs. You see his tail going off? Wow. Notoriously aggressive. This is a very, almost all cotton mouths will be like, rah, you know, stay away from me. I've got venom and I will bite you. And they almost seem to know their venom and the power that it has. They seem to know that they can kill you. It's very, very interesting. They act completely different than any other snake. Just look at that. He just bit, and look, even a tip of his fang came off. Wow. Something interesting about venomous snakes is that they actually shed their fangs. So he should be good even after biting that. But wow. This is definitely a very dangerous species of snake and very common too. You'll actually find these everywhere throughout their range in the south. And it's very, very feared by a lot of people. They're, a lot of people are terrified of cottonmouths and running into them. And it's most often a kill on sight snake. But the real problem are the snake species that get, get misidentified with this snake. Almost every species of water snake gets confused with a moccasin. These snakes don't seek out people, really. They don't come up to people on purpose. They're, they want to stay away from people. They do not like people at all. But they do come up to houses and they come up to ponds like this and people often run into them and that's the big problem. So you can see this cottonmouth has a really big head compared to his body, but water snakes, when you mess with them, they'll do the same thing. Another way of telling is that most cottonmouths are very chunky. It's a very, very chunky little snake. You can see he's very fat and very stocky. Right here, there's a big lump on it. And that was probably a frog that he ate, maybe even a bullfrog, a leopard frog, no telling. But something he just ate, he's, he's filled up on something, that's for sure. And you can see he's got a very muddy, dirty look to him. It's not a pretty snake at all, and not something you would ever want to keep. Whenever you run into these, don't even think about keeping it as a pet. That is a terrible, terrible idea. Grumpy by nature, and definitely not the prettiest snake that you want to have, and very dangerous. Definitely more venomous than a copperhead, and I wouldn't say as bad as a rattlesnake, but let me tell you, if you get bit by it, that's the worst one. The worst one is the one that you get bit by. So you can see he's very dry and muddy right now, so what I'm going to do is get him right there. Look at that. Look straight at me. Nice. There you go. Now, when they're wet, you can see you can see he's got this green banding, and you can see that as they're a baby as well. And you can see that stripe across his face. Look at that. Very stocky little snake too. But another species they get confused with is hognose snakes because hognose snakes are really stocky and chubby. But they look nothing alike. It's because people don't realize how to identify these snakes. And that's why other snakes are oftentimes killed because they think that they're a cottonmouth, which is really a bummer. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time.